gets carjacked at a gas station. Men are stripped naked and beaten, hurled against a wall and kicked in the head. Bystanders do nothing to help. A crowd stands by. It looked like no one would stop to help this man. No one lifts a finger. Several people walk by before a woman finally stops. It looks like a callous uh, disregard of human life. The way that the people who are in that uh, area were just walking over the body, four or five people just disregarding that individual as if he was some sort of a dog. The 68-year-old man died the next day. For our psychology project, Mike and I decided to investigate the bystander effect. The bystander effect is a social psychological phenomenon in which individuals do not offer any means of help to a victim when other people are present. This phenomenon is most commonly found in public places during a time when an individual finds himself in an uncomfortable or life-threatening situation. Danny and I decided to test this theory by conducting an experiment where we put ourselves in the place of an individual who had tripped over a curb or up the stairs and acted injured with hopes of gaining the attention of nearby bystanders. We decided to test this variable, group versus individual, and how they would react under a situation where the bystander effect is present. Alright, so if you saw someone trip and fall next to you, would you help them up? Yes, of course. If I can tell that they need help next. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it depends if they're in a large group. Yeah. Wow. You all right, buddy? Ah. Yeah, I'm all right. You actually stay in for a minute? We're actually doing a psychology experiment right now. We've got a filmer right here. We actually, if you can just stay here for a minute, that'd be great. Um, we're doing an experiment to see if someone falls, if someone will come up and uh, ask if they need help. And both of you guys did that, and that was really nice of you guys. So we've got some consent forms so we can use the footage of you guys asking if I was okay. Sure, why not? Where are you? Are you from? We're from Citroen High School. Oh, cool. Are you going to UMass? Uh, maybe. All right. Ow. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Sorry.
In conclusion, it seems as though a party of between two to four were the most likely to lend a hand. Individuals seem to easily ignore the person on the ground. People in large groups could easily sneak by without being noticed. Our hypothesis was incorrect, and it seemed that small groups are the most likely to help. Some of our flaws. Number one, what classifies as a group? For example, in our first video, the woman was with her children. Number two, in Situate Harbor, people helped more than in Cohasset outside of Shaw's. Number three, consent of large groups. For example, when Danny fell outside the movie theater, many people saw him fall, and we could not get all of them to sign off on consent forms. Number four, acting. If we actually got hurt, I feel as though one would be more inclined to help. Number five, helpfulness of the test subject. For example, originally we wanted to see if the test subject would help us up. However, we settled for them simply saying, are you okay?